guys welcome back to my channel it's Marisa so today's gonna be a real short video because um, I really want to try and put some work into my uh, ode to Jacksepticeye um, video for you guys so today I just wanted to show you really quick what I made the other night uh, you know we're kind of in the house a lot now if you know why I don't know why we can't talk about it but anyway <laughs> See if this my camera can fun. This is my little candy um, uh, collection. These are the the sprinkles uh, that the fake sprinkles that I got. And remember, I said in my other video that I was making some colored uh, gabachon, and that I was going to put them on tiles or coasters. But the little ones, I actually use. I got to do this a little better. The little. Um, this little area here I think I'm probably gonna add some nice black glue to it to kind of finish it off better but it's not that cute it's like the little fake sprinkles and the little colored gabachons like little pieces of candy so cute and this is a, like white gold um, uh, mica so this is really really adorable and I actually did it right this time I put the two hooks the last time I just put the one it should really be hung this way so I'm gonna fix this up a little bit better you know so it looks a little finished and that is that so I'm gonna unmold and I know we're gonna get to that I'm just gonna unmold the little gabachons for you real quick and yeah so you know I was up real late just keeping busy and trying to stay positive and doing some creative stuff and coming up with some cool ideas for you guys for videos and just you know trying to keep everyone's spirits up so far so good you know with my family at least so yeah you know so it's so cute right it literally looks like a piece of candy. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing this whole, um, yeah, and I over poured here, so it's real simple. Just break it off, then you can file it down. Yeah, so I just had this idea of like kind of candy colored coasters and jewelry and all kinds of stuff, just like candy inspired, like I don't know, I was thinking like, I don't know, like juicy, like watermelon and blueberry. This is actually called candy apple. That's kind of like gave me, and then I got the, the fake sprinkles. This is actually called candy apple red uh, by Primal Flow. So I was just thinking of like, I did get some um, ocean, it's called ocean vibes. And I had, whoops, and I have plans for that. You didn't see that guys. Uh, my camera almost flipped over. Um, and are we going to get it right? Sorry. Okay, we're back. Technical difficulties. We're good. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Told you I was clumsy months ago. Yeah, so look how beautiful this is. Do you see this? Let me get the light on it. A little bit better here. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? So I don't know. I got this idea of like, wow, look at that. How beautiful. This candy inspired resin, whether it be jewelry, coasters, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, or just like any of the molds that I have. Just kind of like, whether it be like the dragon eyes or like those weird monsters or whatever. Um, those are like skeleton molds, but like just candy inspired, like these candy colored, uh, yeah, pieces. Look how beautiful that is. So let's, um, that, this one actually got a little messed up because it didn't hold the line that I wanted, but totally this is the special uh, mold that has an extra piece in the center. So let's just unmold the rest. And there is a lot of noise going on outside, guys. Sorry about that. We got a guy revving his engine bright always every time I do a video. And look how beautiful that came out. 
Wow. Absolutely, I really love this. I am so happy I came up with this idea of just, I don't know, like I just wanted to do like little pieces of candy, of resin, uh, I don't know. It's just like, for me, like I, I really love them. I think they're beautiful, like the one, the geode coasters that look very realistic. But for me, it's like I almost want to do the opposite. I don't want it to, I don't want to mimic nature. I just want to be exactly the opposite. Like you will never find this in nature, you know? That's kind of like what my style is um, in all my art, really. You know, look how beautiful that is. So last piece. I can't believe he's rubbing his engine. Wonderful. So, let's see. The camera would focus a little bit. Okay. Beautiful. So, I'm going to show you. Then, this we got the centerpiece. Wow, this came out so cool. I wish my camera would focus. Oh, that's better, finally, okay. Isn't that cute? So this is the centerpiece, so let's chuck this over there. And let's see, now we're gonna, hopefully it fits perfectly. Let's see if it goes this way. Oh, it should. Technically it should fit. Well, oh, there we go. Okay, I just have to, you just have to be gentle with it. I'm like, you get rough sometimes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there we go. Look how cool that is. Let's see. There we go. And last piece. Thank you. Wow, the video is almost over. Isn't that awesome? So cool, right? And then, see if we can just... Okay. You see what I'm saying? So you can use that as one big piece. Or you could separate all the little coasters. There we go. Isn't that so cool? I love this. Let me get a little close up. So cool. I love this, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to start. Um, you know, like I do have all those molds. Like I said, the, you know, the, the dragon eyes. I have the skeletons. I got tons. Now I think I have that one huge coaster. And then I have ones like this already. Um, but without that piece. And then I saw so I basically have four big um, coaster molds now and I do have the circle one I think I have a square one so I'm just like really interested now of doing this whole candy inspired um, resin art like with the coasters like I said necklaces uh, the magnets I've been making keychains whatever even if it's like mermaids but I want it to be like candy colored you know what I'm saying so and um, probably, I actually I could probably mix different colored res uh, not resins different colored um, pigments micro pigments together like I want to make like a fine like a watermelon color um, just stuff like that and I want to see if I can get like different little things I could add that makes it look like candy. You know what I'm saying? Like we got the sprinkles. I want to see if I can find other things like just like little pieces of candy. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what I can find. But this, I love this. I love this idea. I, I think this is so cool. So yeah. So that is it for today, guys. Um, uh, this is a quick little video because I am going to want to work on uh, the Jacksepticeye. It's like kind of like Jacksepticeye slash St. Patty's Day. I am late. But this is a quick little um, sneak peek. I showed this to you already. So I have a really cool... Now I actually came up with a really cool idea. I am going to pour on this guy. Okay. 
But then, what else I'm going to make in this series is going to go on top of this. It's going to be really cool. But hopefully it'll work out, but we shall see. But either way, the thing I'm going to make, I'm going to make. Whether it goes on top of this or not, it remains to be seen. But I'm going to pour on top of this in one of the next videos. And then I got the three-leaf clover, or the four-leaf, whatever. Three-leaf. Okay, so we're going to do a little belated... Um, St. Patty's Day and uh, Jacksepticeye dedication video. And yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share this with you cr uh, really quick. Unmold this, this beauty here and show you what kind of like my next little uh, resin art series is. Like with the molds I already have, I just want to kind of come up with different ideas, different color schemes. And I really love this idea of just candy and I'm gonna like pick different candies and see you know like the color schemes I can make see what I can make with it and I just love this like juicy red and like a blueberry I just love this this is so much fun to make so so much fun to make so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos you could follow me on social media all the links are below I will give a little list of the um, of the materials I use to make all of this okay and yeah, if you want to support me further, you can hit, you could, you know, support me on my PayPal, make a donation, or if anyone is interested in buying any one of these pieces, if anyone would like to buy this or any other, my resin art, my jewelry, or my paintings, you could hit me up on my email. It is also listed below. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.